This is a new site of the Gambaga College of Education at Gambaga in the East Mamprosi Municipality of the Northeast Region. These infrastructure projects you see here are made up of a model school complex, an administration block, a multi-purpose hall and a hostel block phase one. Since its inception 10 years ago, the Gambaga College of Education has always grappled with infrastructure challenges as it's still operating an old primary school compound with a current student population of over 800 inadequate classroom and accommodation spaces for both tutors and students and a lack of other essential teaching and learning facilities such as an ICT center, a science laboratory and a library among others are the true realities of the college. As a result, these projects were initiated under the previous NDC government and commenced in 2016 by the GET Fund. However, the projects have since been left at the mercy of the weather as the government was voted out of power. The principal of the college, Karim Kora Nantogma, explains the impact of the situation. In fact, the college had only 12 unit classroom that we are using as a lecture hall, which is woefully inadequate for teaching and learning. And sometimes we had to spread, uh, to, uh, to because of that, we normally spread our timetable to cover the whole day so that as the people come in and go, space is created for others. So as far as lecture hall is concerned, the college is in dire need of lecture hall. And we think if we get up to date lecture hall, it will facilitate teaching and learning. We do not have student hostels. The students are living in dormitories that we provide through our mega IGF. So hostel, student hostel, modern hostel that will befit the status of a college of education is one of the things that we need most. And we believe that if we get the lecture halls and the hostel to accommodate the students, we will produce the quality teachers that is needed to help mother Ghana and also to support the government good policy of free China high school education. These abandoned projects were also a subject of a report by the Auditor General in 2020 on the public accounts of Ghana pre-university education institutions. In this report, the Auditor General asked the principal of the college to contact the GET Fund and the Ministry of Education to ensure that funds were released to the contractors to complete the project to achieve their intended purpose. The principal, however, says several calls to these institutions are yet to be responded to. The tutors of the college are equally worried and call for the projects to be completed as soon as possible. Looking at the infrastructure uh, on campus is so bad. So I'm making a passionate appeal to the government as a matter of agency to try as much as possible to complete this project for us. Tutors are doing their, their best, but uh, we cannot do much given the current uh, infrastructure deficits that uh, we are faced with. And this is the, the only college, the only College of Education in the Northeast region. It's so frustrating teaching in an environment of this nature whilst you have infrastructure at the new site to be constructed since the change of the government. I'm sure about five years now we've not had anything been done there and we need help. If indeed the government is not doing it for now but at least NGOs and other people can in a way come and just get us lecture halls. That is the most important thing for now. We need the lecture halls as well as accommodation that can accommodate the students so that within the space of time, where any time government is ready, maybe we will see what happens. Ilya Sutanko for Joy News, Gambaga, North East Region.